Hello everybody, Andrea here. So let's talk about some common reasons why people fail the quality assurance exam. Number one seems to be they think it's going to be really easy, so they don't really study for it. They might have heard from other hygienists, maybe you're one of them, that the exam isn't like the board exam, so don't worry about it. It's not going to be hard. You might have even heard from other hygienists who passed that they didn't study for it, so you shouldn't either they're probably lying, okay? The quality assurance exam is not easy. It's not like the board exam, no, but it's still an exam to take. And in my opinion, it has nothing to do with your skills as a dental hygienist. If you've been working for 30 years, you would think you'd be able to pass an exam about dental hygiene, but it's not about dental hygiene. They ask you questions like ethics, professionalism, things that you would have to memorize. So there's no way that you would just know that. So if you haven't signed up for my course, I do offer a quality assurance full prep course. You should definitely sign up for it so you don't fail. If you have failed the first time, don't you know chance it and just try to do it again don't change anything sign up for my course i can help you guys okay but number two so why else would what's a common reason why people are unsuccessful taking the quality assurance exam at least the first time it could be because you have studied a lot you felt confident but you didn't study the right things. There's such a thing as studying too much and not studying the right thing. Meaning if you've been studying for 10 hours every day, your brain can only retain so much. It's so true. You can't retain that information. On the other side of things, if you've been studying a lot, let's say, but you're just kind of reading through the textbook, picking a chapter here, here and there, reading a little bit of it, taking notes, that's not focused studying. You need to study in a focused manner. And again, my prep course does help you with that because I do, I do offer modules and mock exams after every module to test your knowledge, which, which brings me to my next point. Just because you have studied a lot, you might have studied in a focused way, you've done a great job, but if you're not taking mock exams to test your knowledge, this that will not help you pass. You need to take mock exams, you need to take quizzes so that you can see questions worded in a different way because that's the kicker about any exam as we know. It's multiple choice and two answers are always going to be the most correct. So you need practice on critical thinking you need practice on taking mock exams and quizzes, asking very similar questions, but in a different format, in a different way. Just because you know all about perio doesn't mean you'll be able to answer every question about perio because they're going to offer up different answers. They're going to offer up different things. So take those mock exams and quizzes. And guess what? I can help you with that because I have lots of mock exams and quizzes in my quality assurance prep course. So in my prep course, which I can actually show you guys, let me share my screen for a moment here. So this is the quality assurance prep course. Um, it's actually on pause right now. Sorry, this was a video, so this isn't even half of it. But if you guys look on the left hand side, see all of the different topics. There's a lot more, but I just can't show you because it's a video. See, I just turned the video on again. Let me kind of advance it a bit for you. There we go. I don't I don't even know if you guys can see that. Sorry there. So see how I'm scrolling down in the video there. Sorry, but I can leave the link for you guys on the bottom um, if you would like more info on the quality assurance prep course, because what I do is I offer you. Oh boy. Sorry, guys. I just lost my thing again here. This is what happens when you're live and you don't edit your videos. There we go. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So um, the quality assurance exam just helps you study in a more focused way and has quizzes and mock exams so you can truly test your knowledge to see if you know the right answer. So those are the common reasons why people are unsuccessful. Basically, they don't study enough. They study too much where their studying isn't focused and they're not testing their knowledge. So mock exam questions quizzes. You need to practice critical thinking. I can help you guys with that inside the course. Okay. So good luck. Happy studying. I can help you guys and happy new year, by the way.